Hello, everyone. Welcome to this first video where we'll cover the DataBricks Unity Catalog Migration Companion or UCX. My name is Andres Zuniga. I'm a senior skill solutions engineer at DataBricks and I've assisted multiple DataBricks customers with their Unity Catalog migrations. Today, we'll see an overview of the Unity Catalog Upgrade Companion called UCX, some of the reasoning behind the creation of this tool, the tasks that UCX covers in terms of migration, and the installed assets that the tool provides. So let's get started. First things first, UCX is a DataBricks Labs project. This means that it's not fully built into the DataBricks product, but it, that it's created with the intent of accelerating the adoption of Unity Catalog by making the migration process easier. This also means that you have to perform an installation process with it. This is a live project, which means that this is under constant development and that new features and updates can come out quickly. This project is fully hosted on GitHub under the DataBricks Labs organization, and we'll take a look at that later. The UCX tool provides functionalities that help on different areas or tasks of the migration process, covering everything from the initial assessment of your current architecture to the creation of cloud objects and the migration of tables. Now, why was UCX created? And I think I already covered a bit on this topic, but in essence, we had a lot of customers upgrading to Unity Catalog, and this was a highly confusing and slow process for them, since there weren't really any straightforward tools or guides to follow. For this reason, UCX was created with the goal of providing a single solution using the Arabic's built features that helps with understanding your environment, as well as providing a framework for migration. As I mentioned previously, UCX is a DataBricks Labs project, but this doesn't mean that it's not up to the highest standards for testing, releases, and documentation. So now, let's dive deeper onto what the actual tasks that UCX covers are, and for this, we have this graphical representation of how UCX works. First, we have the installation process, which is performed using the DataBricks CLI. Simply by running the installation command from your terminal, you can start using UCX on your workspaces. After this, we have tasks related to the actual migration, like the initial assessment, the migration of the legacy workspace groups to account groups, the migration of tables from Hive to Unity Catalog, and the migration of legacy code to be Unity Catalog compatible. UCX will generate all of these jobs automatically, so it's as easy as following the step-by-step -step guide available in the repo. UCX will also generate a set of dashboards, which can be used as easy and quick reports to review the assessment results or just to check the progress during the migration. So now that we know what UCX covers, let's make a quick relation on what each job is related to. Okay, so we have the assessment workflow. This is going to be the first stop, the first thing that we need to execute when we install the tool. This is what's going to crawl on your workspace, get the results, save those on the table, and then that table is going to be used to populate the dashboard. Then we have the group migration, table migration, and code migration workflows. All of these are going to be related to its specific task. So you have different jobs that you can execute either to actually perform changes on the workspace or to validate or mitigate any issues that you uh, find in the workspace. Okay, so now that we know what UCX covers, let's go to the repo and see how the project is structured. If you remember, I mentioned that the project is hosted on the DataBricks Labs organization. So here we can see the DataBricks Labs repo organization and we can see pinned at the top is the UCX repo. If we click on this, this will take us to the DataBricks UCX repo. The first thing that we'll see is all of the different files and code that we have. And then we'll see all of the releases on the right side and all of the contributors that have added changes to the project right here. If we continue scrolling down, we'll see some general information about UCX and the table of contents with links to all of the different pieces of the project. So you can find all of the quick links just to make sure that you find what you're looking for. Further down, we have the installation guide and the prerequisites required on the local machine to execute the install commands. Among these, we have the DataBrick CLI, as I mentioned, as well as Python and having the workspace admin rule. This is going to be really important since you have the requirement of having those permissions to be able to create the assets and execute the jobs. Below this, we have the uninstalling and upgrading steps. So you will have an explanation on how the commands work and how you can get information on the different configurations for installing. We'll cover this in a separate video. Once the management section is finished, we are welcomed by the migration process section, information related to the assessment, the group migration guide, 
and the table migration guide. So we have here an overview of the migration process, some of the jobs that we'll be able to execute, how the assessment is defined, what it analyzes, the group migration workflow, and then the table migration step-by-step -step process that you can follow to perform the migration. This is a really extensive guide, so we really recommend reading it completely before trying to install something or executing something as you require to have all of the information and prerequisites covered before doing changes on your workspace. Make sure to check our other videos related to UCX to know more about the installation process, the execution of the assessment, and a demo on group and table migration. Thanks.